Hi, um, I this is the first time I've worn this t-shirt. It's a t-shirt with Mary Blanchard on it. Doesn't she look pretty? Okay, and um, she's not remembered too well, but she's kind of like the fourth of the three M's. You know, you had Mel Monroe, and then you had um, Jane Mansfield, then you had Mary Van Doren. She's kind of like a fourth M. Okay, she was a um, actress who was something of a star, but you know didn't quite make it to superstar. Um, okay, now um, here's uh, probably the best known movie would be She Devil, which is something of a classic, of a kind of B level classic. That's from this one right here. And another, probably maybe the next most famous, or the most famous perhaps, is Abbott Costello Goes to Mars, in which she was Queen, Queen Allura. And that's a pretty good title. She's alluring. Okay. And um, she was in her uh, royal finery hair. And um, in Abbott and Costello Go to Mars, they go to a planet that is actually Venus, and there's no men on the planet. It's all women, sex-hungry women. There's, you know, this is the 1950s. Lesbianism doesn't exist. Masturbation doesn't exist in the film world. And there are men, and there are two men on the manless planet of Venus. Uh, now, this is her from a movie that doesn't have a real good reputation, No Place to Land. And she plays a female stalker before there really was a word called stalker or term that was known. She was a stalker. Okay. And then here's uh, her with uh, Dan Duryea in a Western. And then uh, The Crooked Web, a thriller. Okay. Um. And here she is with, here's she was one of several with Groucho Marx. Now, um, the thing about her is uh, she had a pretty rough life in a lot of ways. She was kind of illness prone and injury prone. When she was nine years old, she had uh, polio. And um, she was recovered by 12, but um, there was enough damage that uh, she didn't think she could make it as a dancer. Although... Um, when she was in her teens, um, she joined a circus for a short period. She was also spotted by cartoonist Al Cap, and because of her, you know, beauty and being so alluring, even before she played Queen Allura, he based a comic strip character, Stupid Vian Jones, on her. Okay, now, um, she, uh, She died relatively young, and I think she was still in her 40s when she um, died, I believe, from cancer. Yeah, from cancer. You know, she, she struggled with uh, illnesses a lot of her life. You know, I said polio when she was a child, and then she got cancer when she was in her 40s. And um, it's, um, you know, she's um, uh, she's not too well remembered today. But she was quite a beauty. And I hope maybe uh, some of you might check her out. Okay. Hope you like hearing that.